previously on BPI Atlanta. But well, see, now we got water collection here. See all that water collection? I can go fishing right here. Boy, I think the conjunction of that, the way that it's a bad location. Your gun, their gun. Yeah. All right, guys. So up here we got a crack wood beam, which is supporting the upper deck. See you. Meeting, 
and you can feed the agents. You can, I mean, you got full reign if you pay. I'll come to the door, can't let you in. Why not? I'm on the business list. They only keep three inspectors. I was right where you guys were May of last year. And um, I actually met Jock. He was doing an inspection for me. And I was working for State Farm. And um, I was looking for a career change. You know, I was going to own my own business. So we were talking, and he told me about this same training that you guys are doing, and I signed up. Fast forward a year later, here I am today. Okay, so this changed my life. Best decision I ever made. Um, but I will say well, it requires work. I mean, a lot of people have taken the course, and you know. But if you put in the work, it will reward you. I'm, I'm a living witness. You know, I'm, I'm good. I'm very good right now. I'm happy. But before I go to any further, what kind of questions do you guys have for me? I know the first day. I just was wondering sometimes how long does it take to get a few calls and you know to start actually inspecting houses. Good question. Very good question. Um, I did the uh, training. I was my plan was to leave State Farm that following January. So I was gonna kind of do it like part time on the weekends and uh, kind of branch off and go full time. God didn't see it that way, <laughs> so I got expedited. The situation got expedited. So um, by July, I was out with Jock almost every day for 90 days, three months, like an internship, learning. I followed Jock around. We went everywhere. We went to home buyer seminars. We went to inspections, and it was the best thing I could have ever done. Because to be honest with you, had I not done that, I don't think I would have been where I am right now. So that was three months of just out grinding every day, learning, learning, hands on. Of course, Jock does the training, does a great job with the training that you guys are doing here, but this is the basic fundamentals. You still have to do some hands on training and things of that nature just to get comfortable. But to, I think I got my first inspection on my own probably about September. But that, of course, was doing the training with Jock out there every day. And then after that, October, November, that's when it started coming in, mm -hmm. you know, and I felt comfortable, you know. Uh, I was comfortable, of course, after the training that you guys are doing now, but I was really comfortable actually watching Jock out there those days um, and learned a lot, learned a lot. So it takes patience. Um, I had to go, like Jock said, visit realtors, talk about their vendor programs, things of that nature. This is the blessing and the investment that you guys are making because Jock's already – done the work. If you follow the blueprint, you can't go wrong. It's effective. It works. I'm a witness. If you just follow it. Now, of course, you do have to customize it to your own style. Mm -hmm. But if you follow the blueprint, you can't go wrong. It's just, you, you got to put in the work, though. It's not going to be easy. In that beginning stage, it's going to be a little rough and like, okay? But it will pick up. It, I guarantee you. And once you get your name out there, get your brand established, people start getting to know you. I go to um, social mixers mm -hmm. uh, with real estate agents. I go, uh, it's an app. Um, it's on my other phone. But there's an app that keeps you updated with all the events that they meet, like in Buckhead and different areas with realtors and prominent people meet. I go there, pass out business cards, introduce myself. You know, I keep my key business cards on me at all times supermarket, hey, you never know who needs a home inspector. When I go to the gym and work out, everybody there knows that I'm a home inspector. If they don't see it on my truck, when I'm working out, hey, when I'm playing basketball. So it's just getting in there, because this is your business. This is your investment. But you have to put in the work. But if you follow the blueprint and everything that Jock's um, laying before you guys, it's golden. Because see, that's 11, 12 years of experience that you don't have right offhand, but he's been a sacrificial lamb. He's given you everything that he's learned so that you can prevent mistakes as a business owner. But, I mean, it's been great for me. I mean, I, I love it. I like the flexibility. I like the freedom. I like the financial mm -hmm. part of it. You know, it's like speaking in front of people and enlightening people who don't know about home inspection. Yeah. Now, you work by yourself. Yeah. yeah. Have you ever ran into, 
I'm saying this because I am licensed to care, but have y'all ever ran into a situation where you would need? Uh, I haven't had that situation mm -hmm. as of yet. Mm -hmm. um, I hope that I never. Okay. If I if it got to the extent where I felt so, I would. So I'm just praying, God, just keep me out of that situation. Right, I don't right. have to. Yeah. But it never got to that extent. Because um, you know, you talk about foreclosures, people, you know, the, what they call them. Uh, being in houses, uh, yeah, but the houses you going to, squatters, I mean, squatters, yeah, 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 most of them are vacant. Yeah, these are vacant houses. People that aren't built before you are listing agents, are still yeah. living in the property. Oh, okay, um, yeah. just as long as just, just and Jack can go over it. Just make sure you, you lock the doors. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, if you're in a crawl space, you may just want to call somebody, your wife or someone. Hey, I'm in this crawl space. If you're hearing back from me in like a couple of hours, just check on things of that nature. Um, but a lot of these you're vacant. Um, I ain't never ran into no problem with nobody. Me either. I, I haven't either. I've thought about that, but I know I'm crazy, so I can't have a gun. Because yeah. I'm going to use it. So, right, right, right. like, well, as long as you, and I didn't, I didn't be preaching anything, but like, well, protect me, thank seen and unseen. So, yeah. as long as you do that, but if, if, if any event, then yeah. But I, I've never had. I was just, well, I, I mean, that's the very question. Yeah. yeah, I mean, I, I know guys that do carry. I have never had a reason. Because when I go to the neighborhood, I'm going to the house. You know, if I see Willie them on the street, I ride past them, <laughs> I wave, I go into the house and I do what I need to do. Exactly. Lock my car, go in, I lock the doors in the house, I do my work and I leave. Yeah. So, yeah. you know. Yeah, I, I'm with Jack. I've yeah, I ain't never had no problem with nobody. Right.
if, if in the event there's no electricity, mm -hmm. you still should be able, to, be able to get out the garage, so we'll test your manual operation of the door. As I stated earlier, I don't have any right. any trick in the bag that I'm not showing you. I'm I'm it's telling you everything. what to do yeah. to get the business. He's, he's not holding back anything. Matter of fact, there was a R was a ROC RRC RRC. Um, I just went and called them, not knowing that Jock was working with them um, already. And when I found out, I called Jock out of respect for my mentor. I was like, I didn't know that you were already working with them. And he was like, it's cool, it's cool, it's not a problem, not a problem at all. You know, he was very cool about it, he wasn't upset. No one home inspector will have a monopoly on Atlanta because it's just that huge. There's too many realtors. And as Jock said, once you get locked in with one realtor, they don't even call. They just send a text, the CBS code and the address, when can you get out there? And that's what you want. They trust you to that extent. So, and once you do a good job, you're golden. There's no one real estate agents prior. Did you know any real estate agents prior to? Nah, not no, not really. Um, everyone that I've learned, I've, I've met has been word association referrals, or um, their clients were in the home buyer seminars, and that's how they found out about me because their their clients was adamant about using me, and they were like, "Well, I have my people that I normally work with." Clients like, "No, no, no, I want him. He taught the class. I like what he did." So then that raised my eyebrow. I was like, wait a minute. Let's see what this new guy, I've never heard of him before, like Jock said. But once they see your report, they see how quick you get it to them, you're good. Now, you, now you're working with them. And then if they are working with home inspectors that are busy, who are they going to call? The new guy. Exactly. So it works, it works, it works pretty good. Yeah. Look at the floors, the granite countertop, the paint looks good. 
But no, you don't go in the attic. You probably didn't even go in the garage. You know, you didn't live in the fireplace or the roof. You know, so that's the stuff that, you know, is important because those are the big money issues. Yeah, I looked at everything you said in my stuff. Yeah, exactly. Uh, like right. You and you're the, you're the exception. But most <laughs> of them, they don't. You know, they get caught up in what I call the candy. All right, guys, so I'm um, having to use hand screwdriver today because I neglected to bring my power drill. I must have left it at another property. So I have to go back to their property and hope that it's still there. Um, so always good to have a safety net and a backup. But um, yeah, them tools cost money. It's an investment, so we gotta go find that hopefully. But uh, you know, it's a part of it. Still gotta get the job done. So we're checking this panel to make sure that there's no double tap or triple tap worm. Did they all reset? Yeah. Every one of them? They all they probably connected. Juice coming in there. This is your ground, so nothing coming there. Got nothing on that. All right, so we're looking for double tap wiring, and we don't have any. So each wire is just going into its own individual breaker. That's what we want. And the bigger the breaker number, the thicker the wire is going to be. So if you notice, this 30 amp wire is thicker than this 20 amp. And so forth and so forth. If you go up to 40, 50, and 60, the wire's gonna get thicker. So 15 and 20 is probably gonna be about the same size. Actually, this 15 is thinner than the 20. And then the 30 is the highest one that we have. So you can't have a small wire on a, a big breaker, but you can have a big wire on a small breaker. Because if you put this size wire on this 30 amperage, it won't be able to handle that wire would be too thin to handle all that power. So exactly. Right. So that looks good. Get some pictures on it. And we should be good to go. Coming up on the next episode of BPI Lamp. Alright guys, so this is the first. This is unusual, but as y'all can see, these are bite marks on the blind. Y'all know the man be doing 20 a month. Y'all know the man be doing 20 a month. We can't even hire nobody, bring nobody on until he's doing 30 a month. System. Yeah. Period. Because he need to see a $10,000 a month himself. Woo! <laughs> it's coming too. Yeah. Right. You need, to see, you need to see your bank account hit 10000 for a month. 